Hello, everyone. My name is Amex with the Facts. You are now watching the AWF series. And, of course, we make the unknown. Known? That's right. And right now I'm here at the great city of Dubai. And right now I have a very, very special guest. This guy, him and I, we haven't spoken in years, but we have been old-time friends. We actually had a nice journey together. Um, you know, I was an intern at Virgin Radio. He's still working at Virgin Radio. Uh, we also participated... <laughs> We, we participated in this very old show called Insane Moments. So there's some good memories in that. Some memories are forgotten, and some memories will stick with yeah. us forever. hundred <laughs> percent. There were plenty of them, okay? My brain had to subconsciously take and, like, pick and choose between them. We got Insane Moments for a reason. There's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot. But we're going to save the Insane Moments memories until the last part. All right, All right so the okay. first... So the okay. first part, we're gonna like talk. We're gonna learn more about A two L. So A two L, will you please tell your fans and your future fans who you are and what you're all about? Um, I work at Virgin Radio. I start off at Virgin Radio Dubai. Now I do the evening drive time show on Virgin Radio Oman. So we are Oman's only hip hop and R and B station. Woo! Okay. Uh, for how many yeah, years? Yeah, so it's an urban thing. We play old school, new everything from Biggie to Cardi B. It's it's us. All right, okay. And it's like, is it like, uh, which city is it located? Muscat, right in the center, Muscat. Very nice, okay. Well, I didn't know that Muscat had a huge uh, R&B hip-hop scene. Can you, like, talk more about that? We didn't either. Because when we came in, our format was CHR, which stands for Contemporary Hit Radio, which is top 40, basically. Right. So we launched the same formula as Virgin Radio Dubai because it's tried and tested. But then again, there are like two other stations playing the exact same music. And me being a DJ, I picked up a few gigs uh, when I first got here in 2017. And I was like, well, hip hop seems to be really popular here. Hip hop and Afro beats are like, they're insane here. People go crazy for them. Mm. Um, we did a bit of market research and then about a year ago, we made this big decision to basically change the format of the radio station from top 40 to urban. So we started off with like the new stuff with like, you know, um, Roddy Rich, you're looking at the baby and all this new guys, Kendrick, Cole, and then gradually, we kept adding more and more, expanding a library. Now we cover anywhere from like 1990 till yesterday. Nice. And I think, I, think yeah, Dubai, I think Dubai needs something like that too, because I noticed Dubai is still shifting, still remaining to the top 40 hits. And other radio stations are like that. And I think they needs to be like, the, the metal radio station needs to come back. And even the hip hop, like an urban radio station needs to come back. But um, what you're telling me now that Muscat has a huge hip hop bass, a huge Afro beat bass, I mean, that, that is amazing. Yes. Massive. So, smart choice. Massive. Also, a huge Bollywood community. Omanis, Omanis love Bollywood, believe it or not. And that was a complete surprise for me. Oh, like, okay. You, you, call, you go to an Omani, like a 25 year old Omani woman, and mention Shah Rukh Khan, she's going to fall. <laughs> so, they speak Hindi? Um, actually, I've, I've met so many Omanis that speak better Hindi than I do. Oh, hey. This place fascinated me when I came here. It was a complete shift from, you know how Dubai is. Like, no one has time for anything. You know, it's just go, go, go. I came here and that's when I realized when you live in Dubai, and of course, Dubai has given me everything, you know, that I have today. But when you're living in Dubai, you're so busy trying to try to earn a living that you forget to actually live um you come to i came to Muscat. it's like somebody pulled a handbrake on my on my life that's when you you stop you get out you breathe in the air and you're like oh my god this is amazing hey well i will say this though like uh, i think i think the greatest time in dubai i'm not saying dubai is not you know so not great it's still one of the greatest cities in the middle east but the golden age was, I think, um, like the time that we were there, 2010, 2011, when things were right. still growing, the birth right, right. rate was going up. Yeah. So I think like we all were there at the right moment. 100%. 100%. And uh, if you, have you been to Muscat? No. I wish I had. The host I ever went to was the Omanian border. Uh, oh, yeah, the Hatta border. Like, if you love nature, if you love hiking, and if you love just jumping into the ocean and just swimming and diving and all that musk. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. There's, there's a mountain. You know, that's not a joke. 
like when there is when when it's foggy, you don't see the upper half of the mountain. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's absolutely man. It's a it's it's natural, and I think I resonate more with that. And you know, it's one of those things where I I, I came here and there was a cultural shock, and then as time progressed, I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna spend just two years here. I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stay put. You so basically you're settling down now. You're like, look, in my twenties in Dubai, I experienced everything I went to yeah. experience. Now in my thirties, I just yeah, want to settle down. I think yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend most part of my thirties here in in Muscat, and you know, um, I'm I'm still representing Virgin Radio, so which is such a great great feeling. Um, it's it always has been, you know. There's plenty ups and even more downs, but you know what? End of the day, it's it, that's life. Hey, you know what? You, I mean, if you want to talk about the downs, that's okay. That's what the show is all about, truth, honesty. But right. I know you want to sustain your position in Virgin Radio, so we'll leave the downs for now. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, there's no, no, the, when I say downs, I mean, it's, it's what happens in life kind of downs. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you would think, and, hey, uh, I am, I've come this, you know, at this level. And then you get a reality check and you're, that's when you're like, oh, okay, hold on a second. I need, to, I need to ground myself. I need to learn a little more. Like you, you either win or you learn. You know, you only lose if you don't learn. Right. From it. So, you know, the hurdles, of course, there are speed bumps along the way, but um, it's, it's, it's a hustle that you've got to keep up. And it's, especially in the entertainment industry, it's just a hustle that you give up on that hustle. That's when you're, you, you, you're going to fade away. Well, one thing I learned about any business now, whether it's education, uh, whether it's education, aviation, um, it doesn't matter what you do. It's, so I know it's not just entertainment anymore. Um, banking, everything is going fast. The world is going fast. Uh, you have to catch up. Like even as a teacher, if you don't, if you don't learn like the different ways, like people think like just last year or a year before, you know, we all went to mm. physical institutions. Now we're mixing uh, online classes and we're mixing Zoom and Teams and Seesaw and Nearpod and all these other apps. You have to use apps now to teach kids in school. Yeah. So yeah. the game has changed even in education. So it's, it's, it's everywhere. And like you said, if you either win or you learn. But if you lose, yeah. you only lose when you stop learning. Exactly. You have to learn. Exactly. You have to defeat this. Exactly. Like, what can I do to make sure I don't end up in this situation in my next venture sort of thing? And, uh, you know, of course, there's a fair bit of luck involved as well. <laughs> You know, um, when I, I did not expect to be moving to Muscat, to be honest, like I was still, um, you know, I was like, what's my next thing that I want to do? And I was always centered around Dubai. Muscat pretty much happened out of the blue. And that's when I was like, you know what? I could use a fresh start. I, I grew up in Dubai, you know, it was 2017. And I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's time to just write another chapter. And, you know, it, it was absolutely the best professional decision that I've ever made in my life. Well, the same thing here. Like for me, I told myself at once upon a time that um, I, I'm pretty much done with uh, podcasting and music and all of that. I'm just going to focus on education. But well, I'm a teacher, guys, everybody. Just right. so that you guys know. Business teacher. And you are? Teacher. I didn't even know that. A uh, what? I didn't know that you were a teacher. You never knew I was? I, you didn't see the photos no. I posted on Facebook like with, you know, kids no, I, or I, business English teachers? I use Facebook. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Okay. I use Facebook for one purpose. You know what that is? Actually what? two. One what? is to not forget my friends' birthdays and two for memes. Okay. That's all I use Facebook for. Like I don't see anything else. You know, if I see a funny meme, wow. I just send it to my friends. That's all wow. I use Facebook for because like it is a lot of things wrong with social media in my opinion. Like I never got into it in the first place. Like mm. I'm not somebody that my whole life. I know so many people in our business, that, like the entire day, you know, whatever they do, everything is on their Insta stories. I, mm. I'm not doing this. I like, I like that, that separation between what I do for, for a job. It's basically that. I don't want to be working when I'm not working. And that's when you forget to live your life as opposed to just nonstop just doing that. And it's exhausting. Like, People that do it use that platform to earn a living, and that's completely fine. That's your bread and butter. You know, I do just enough uh, social media to to take all my work boxes. Hmm. Okay. You know, that's 
I like I like my life outside as well. You need to have that balance. You burn out otherwise. And now you can't go anywhere for on a holiday because, well, we're in a pandemic. Um, but yeah, you, you got to find that balance. And that's what I try to do as much as possible. Fair enough. Let's do it.